Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd, 2018. We're very excited to have in the studio with us today, Fujia and Miyagi. Take it away. Watching Audio Tree Live with Fuji and Miyagi. Awesome, sounding really good in here, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. 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 Yes. Congrats on the 10 year anniversary tour that you're doing. Transparent things, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, like that, it's been out for like 10 years, and you've probably played these songs a thousand times plus. How does it feel like looking back? Are you still like excited when you play them? Do you still enjoy the record as much as you did when it came out? Or? I mean, I haven't listened to it in years. Yeah. But, but it's just uh, how the audience react. So yeah, every time okay. you play it, if you get a reaction, it, it feels like sort mm -hmm. of fresh, so you, it doesn't feel stale. 
Oh, I see what you mean. So like when you play those songs, like compared to some sometimes other songs, you feel like that the reaction, depending on which audience you're in front of, yeah. obviously depends on how you feel about the song kind yeah, of. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. And do you think like, you know, from doing this for a while, do you think that like to keep you motivated and to keep you moving, fresh songs help that? Or like what are some things that honestly keep you guys going for as long yeah, as you've I think, been? I mean, despite the kind of nostalgia of releasing a, a mm -hmm. record uh, 10 years ago, re-releasing it, uh, we've always been pretty forward thinking, I think. It's mm -hmm. always the next record. The, so it's, but, but also it's kind of a collection of what we've done from the beginning as well. So it's just a combination of those two things. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It's good to have that experience and be able to take it and move it forward for sure. Also, I was thinking like uh, along the lines of like recently I heard that you were running your own label, correct, correct now, like kind of doing that, your own thing. And how do you like the business, I guess, business side of things? Does that make things more complicated? Has it took you away from writing more or how does that work out? Well, I guess it does take us away a little bit from mm -hmm. writing more. But um, I I've personally, I've enjoyed doing the business side of it. Yeah. Um, I've, it's been difficult. I haven't, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, obviously doing the accounts and all the kind of boring stuff. Yeah, that's you, what I do. You don't have to do that. Yeah, he actually <laughs> does that. <laughs> there you go. You. But, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I am really enjoying it. Actually, it was something I, I me and David always wanted to do really okay. early on was set up our own record label. So Okay. Yeah, that's what really I was going to ask. Like, yeah, is that, that was, an idea before the band even? Or is yeah, this just... Same time, little yeah. Kid, I yeah. wanted to release our own records. But also, I think with the current climate, mm -hmm. for a, a group of our, you know, size, it, it's, it, you need to. Yeah, you know, for sure. To, to exist. So, yeah, exactly. And so. I feel like with today's resources, it's almost easier to do. You know what I mean? You can get your stuff out there as much as you want if you yeah, have sure. backing and money and the right right mindset, I guess. Totally. You know? yeah, and exactly. do you guys ever plan on putting out other music as well? Or have you done that? Or what, what's We'd like to. Yeah, yeah we've talked like other about bands. it. And, yeah, it's, it's finding it's the right thing, I think, and cool. the right time and the right and the money. stack of cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. totally. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, you guys can roll on that next song whenever you're ready.
watching Audio Chew Live with Fujia and Miyagi. So we were talking a little bit earlier about running their own record label and kind of being slightly DIY, and you guys kind of have been doing that almost like since the start, I feel like, and even recording some of your earlier stuff by yourselves, correct? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, and I'm just wondering, like, nowadays with, like, so much, like, at home studio technology. Do you guys find that? Do you dabble in that? Do you still kind of do that at home? Is that a oh, part oh, yeah, of the writing yeah. process? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, at the beginning we, we had to do it DIY just mm -hmm. because we didn't have the budget and we worked, and worked from home yeah. quite a lot. But we, we still do that now, although we will, we, we've got drama, so we kind of yeah. go into a bigger studio and record as well. So we mix cool. it up, but we definitely still work in that the idea of working at home on your front of your computer, yeah, totally. For hours, that kind of thing, yeah, def definitely a DIY approach. Yeah, and I hear like the there's always like a conflicting story of like people saying like technology, as far as in that sense, has gave people a crutch to be able to use auto tune and to be able to use all this correction, and other people say, well, it's given like a great thing to be able to be whenever you have a creative idea, you can just put it down on a computer at home. Do you think it's like helped you or, or hurt you, or do you think it makes like what do you feel like as far as that it's goes? get a creative idea down? It's helped us. Yeah, yeah, totally. definitely. Cause and you don't even though you can make it perfect, you don't have to. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. when everything is perfect, if something's slightly imperfect, it, I think it, it, I'm more attracted to that. Yeah, totally. I agree completely. And when you guys are writing and doing that process, I know a lot of it is kind of that repetitive electronic bass feeling. Do you start with like a rhythm or a drum track per se and then come and layer on top of it? Or do you think of a melody or is it always different? We have different approaches. Do you? Yeah. Okay. So it might, it might be that I come up with something that's a bit more electronic and Dave put stuff on and sometimes Dave writes stuff and that's a bit bare like vocals and guitar or bass yeah. and then it comes back and we... Well, you bounce the it jam back and forth. Band. So there's, yeah. there's lots of things. So. That's cool. Yeah, because yeah. I was, I was always, always curious about that, especially in like uh, such a rhythmic based band, you know, I, I, repeating and layering. And I was always wondering like, how do you set that up and how do you kind of like layer on top of that? Because I noticed your melodies are really creative and almost rhythmic as well. Yeah, I mean, that's born out of necessity because I haven't got too many notes in my uh, locker. <laughs> okay, so, I see. Uh, but we, we, we kind of... The rhythm is important, and often we write with bass lines first, and you know okay. it comes from that. So if they're if they're right, everything else can fall into place. Perfect. Well, that sounds great. You guys can run on that next song whenever you're ready.
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Fujia and Miyagi. Thank you. 
the GM Yagi on Audio Tree Live. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate that. So cool, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, yeah, so you can check them. They're going on a West Coast tour tonight. They're actually playing Lincoln Hall here in Chicago. So if you're in town, make sure you come out to that. Um, like I said, they'll be on the West Coast after this. Also, if you want to check out more of their tour dates, they're on their website. Um, the Transparent Things 10-year anniversary is now. Um, I also want to thank the Audio Tree crew, the lighting and camera guys, uh, the audio engineers, everyone here who helps make this happen. We really appreciate them. If you want to help support the band and us, you can do so by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see everyone next time. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?